Okay, so what we're going to start doing now is adding some final details to this room. So we're going to make it look a little bit more beautiful for rendering, uh, and we're going to learn a few more skills along the way. So the first thing we're going to do is put in like a giant window. So the idea behind this room is that it's for some reason in orbit of Earth. I don't know why, it just looks cool. Uh, and we're going to put a window in one wall so that we can see out and we can see Earth in the background. So in order to do that, we're going to select um, the room. We're going to open up the good old modeling toolkit again. And we're going to put it into face selection mode. And we're going to make sure that we select that face. Yep, so this one here is going to represent our window. The next thing we're going to do, because we want to create a window frame, is we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose to bevel. And you'll see, it's not worked out particularly well because it's going too far, but it has now put a frame around the edges like that, which is what we, we wanted to do. But it's a little bit over the top, so we're just going to take the fraction down to about 0.2, like that. So that now gives us a frame. The only other issue with it really is that it's set back. You can see. So I'm just going to select that one face there. And then with my move tool, I'm just going to pull that back so it's level. Like that. And what that's done is put a frame on, and it means that we can set this bit back a little bit to create kind of an indented window. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it slightly inside the room, just to really exaggerate what's happening with the window. So you can see that I've kind of done the reverse of what was just happening. So it's now slightly inside the room. Okay, the next step is to create an extrude so that we can push that face back and create the window itself. Now you can either click on the extrude button here or if you're a keyboard shortcut lover you can press Control and E and that will create an extrude. It will create this um, universal manipulator tool and you can see that there are scale options, uh, there are move options and you can click on this to rotate. But what I always like to do after I've done an extrude is just switch to the tool I want which in this case is the move tool and I'm going to move that face back a little bit to create kind of a indented window, like that. And then once you've finished, put it back into object selection mode, and in the next step we're going to have a look at creating a transparent material to represent a window pane.